And in Baltimore, the police are on alert as hearings into the death of Freddie Gray get underway today. The 25-year-old died in April from a spinal cord injury while he was in police custody. A judge is expected to decide whether the six officers charged in his death should be tried. In this case, he died a week after he was arrested and his death sparked days of riots, looting and arson breaking out in many spots around the country. Rich Edson on this live in Baltimore. So, Rich, what can you tell us about what's going on in the courtroom there today? Now, good morning, Martha. In just about five minutes from now, the first open court proceedings begin in this case in the building behind me here, the courtroom downtown Baltimore. The six police officers charged in the death of Freddie Gray, their attorneys have filed a handful of motions, particularly those against the state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby. First off, they want this entire case against these officers thrown out because they say of the prosecutorial misconduct, what they're calling it, of the state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, and some of the things she has said about this case. They also, if they can't get that, want her removed from trying this case. Next week, these uh, preliminary hearings will continue. They will also consider, the judge will also consider moving this from a venue outside of Baltimore just because of all that has happened here in the last few months and particularly uh, after the death of Freddie Gray and when these officers were arrested. We do not expect the officers to be in court today. They have waived their right to appear at this preliminary hearing. So the play out here, preliminary hearing today, preliminary hearing next week, and then if all goes according to plan, there is an initial trial date set, and that would happen in about the middle of October, Martha. So are, are they bracing for protests or any violence in the wake of these decisions? Well, there were reports the People's Power Assembly, a group that was protesting this in April and May, said they were expecting about 500 people in front of this courthouse. Our producers around the corner, where we're hearing some of the protesters now, say there's only about 40 people here. There is another protest planned for 6.30 tonight. But again, what we saw a couple of months ago, uh, there was almost a spontaneity to it when you saw the larger protests, and there would have to be some sort of action event, something in the proceedings today we'd imagine to cause more people to show, considering we've only seen about 40 people here this morning. Yeah. All right, Rich, thank you very much.